Hi, I'm John from Proper Printing, and in this video I'm going to create a PCB with my Creality printer. My goal is to, uh, to nail it uh, this time. My previous uh, video was about creating a PCB too, yeah, and I've learned a couple of things from that video. The first uh, thing I've learned is that you need a proper Z height. <laughs> Yeah, that comes quite uh, critical. The second thing is that you need the proper mills to uh, mill out the PCB. And the last thing is that um, I have to leave out uh, more details. I managed to stay awake watching the previous video again, but that was thanks to uh, the coffee that was donated to me. So thanks a lot for that. I have created a thing and I already launched it on uh, Thingiverse. And that is this... Uh, DTI holder and this can be placed in the uh, in the tool holder so I can uh, yeah, place it and uh, level the bed really level the bed I definitely recommend using this to level your bed but I'm going to use it to not only level the bed but also to level my PCB and after I'm sure that the PCB is level I'm going to determine the Z height with uh, just with the multimeter. I have two crocodile uh, clamps. One I'm going to clamp on the PCB and the other one on the tool. Yes, I know you can uh, do this uh, automatically by uh, homing the printer and connect these uh, to your main board, but you have to change uh, your firmware. And I'm uh, a bit lazy and I'm just going to use this uh, multimeter, uh, do it manually and uh, well, place the, the tool on the copper and once it's uh, connected that thing is going to beep and that's uh, the zero point so that shouldn't be too hard i'm going to leave out most of the details if you want to uh, know more about the g-code then i recommend watching my previous video if you haven't already and if you still have questions then yeah, you can always uh, leave a comment or contact me and like my previous video i'm going to use flat cam because, well, that worked. My theory of using a PCB outline to flip it over, to line it out, with, uh, together with the T-slot plate you're going to see in a minute, uh, that works. So that's something uh, I will hold on to. So I've generated these uh, G-codes and uh, uploaded them in uh, Octopi. I've modified them a bit. Again, you can find uh, the details about these modifications in the description. Let's go to the printer and align everything properly and start milling and nail this PCB creation. I don't even have to turn on the, uh, the printer. I can just add the DTI like that. Mm, something like this. Zero, going to manually go over uh, the board. Let's put this, yes. There it's at zero. And there it's again at zero. I can say I'm happy with uh, with this, so I will keep it uh, that way. I don't think I can uh, can get it any better. Now I'm going to add the grinder, and as you can see here, I have uh, I use a different tool with uh, a sharp point. So this is specifically for uh, milling PCBs. Okay, I'm going to add the engraver. Here it goes, my highly professional Z-homing method. Oh. <laughs> okay, still in time. Um, if you turn on the printer, then the, uh, the spindle is going to to be on for a very short period of time 
so <laughs> you mustn't clamp this to the to the tool already that was uh, not going to <laughs> it wasn't going well okay i'm going to lower this manually until it's starting to to beep there it is and now up on the z one millimeter so now it's exactly one millimeter above the surface now that's it okay and start Got something. I'll get the camera closer. This looks uh, very promising. It looks really good, but I think the PCB itself isn't flat. I have this uh, block and I'm going to place it under there and uh, rerun the same G code. Okay, the result is a lot better. I'm going to flip the board over, uh, readjust the uh, DC height, and run it again. Record. Yes, okay, and print. Alright, that went well. Now it's time to drill the holes. Here we go. <laughs> that was a bit of an anti-climax. <laughs> Thank you. 
is uh, due to the uh, firmware upgrade. You can see that this display looks a lot different. It definitely didn't go as smooth as uh, I was hoping that uh, it would go. But I finally have managed to create a PCB and cut it out. I didn't expect when I started this uh, this video in the morning that I had to upgrade my printer, install a bootloader and everything uh, in order to get this to work. I will, will probably try it next time with, uh, with the laser cutter. That's something I definitely am going to try in the future. Not in my next video. In my next video will be about something else and I am already really looking forward to, uh, to making that video. All links I've used to make this video I will place that in the description. If you like this video or it helped you then uh, yeah, please uh, hit that like button. And if you want to see more in the future consider subscribing because there will be a lot more. Finally did it. Yes. Awesome.